Hello, this is Depot Bridge here to play Space Battles. It's a really fun game. Uh, yeah, that's kind of me. Except my hair is darker, my eyes are not blue, and I do not have a flannel shirt. Well, so it's kind of me. The music you're listening to is by Gustav Holst. He's an early 1900s composer. Oh, look, there we are on the front page again. That's kind of cool. Uh, and so what you're listening to is The Planets by Gustav Holst. Um, there is the description. You can read it on your own if you want to. Got UFOs and aliens and robots. Oh, my. Yep. So this is Gustav Holst, the uh, Uranus at the beginning, and then Mars. We're listening to the Mars section right now. And in the game, you're going to hear Neptune. Oh, man, look at that. There's spaceships. There are creepers <laughs> and spacesuits. There are more spaceships. There's this giant cube-looking thing with a big black U in the middle of it a bunch of asteroids. What in the world is this game going to be like? I oh, hope there's even some spaceships made out of blocks. Oh man, the suspense. Let's go ahead and pay for it. I can't wait for it. Oh. So this game that I had a lot of help building is definitely a passion project. And we're going to get in there, give it a shot. So join me as we play through Space Battles. Oh, look. There's all the games I've bought. Chronicles of Chloe? What is that game? Only a game I took five years to make before I had the job with Lifeboat. It's a fun game. But today we're just going to do space battles. One more click away. Oop. I lied. One more click away. So, Space Battles um, was a game that I worked on with uh, one of the volunteers named Daniel. And um, he did a lot of great work, uh, so just be quiet here. Welcome to Light Gravity Training. Whoa, Light Gravity. Before we go to Planet X, Man. you must learn the fundamentals of how to traverse in Light, light gravity. gravity. Yeah, that's my voice. Jump to the next platform to continue. A little bit higher pitched. Uh, yeah, so this is all about Light Gravity. What we did is we used the effects... Um, on Minecraft that allow you to jump higher and give you a feather falling effect when you're you're falling down. Use the jetpack to travel farther. Do this by pressing jump farther. and then waiting. Once you are high in the air, press jump again there you go. to turn on the jetpack. So putting on the elytra with a feather falling means that you fall a little slower too so it really affects the elytra as well which allows you to go much further than you could in normal minecraft which will be very important uh, in this game here's the how to play you can choose free play mode which gives you all three starships to play with or you can choose uh, the story mode which we're going to choose here going through faster than light travel we're going to travel to our first and only mission for this game oh my That giant cube doesn't look too friendly. No, it doesn't. Giant Is it cube. A moon? Is it a moon? I've got a funny feeling about this. I don't think it's a moon. Okay, cadet. We need a starship. Stack up. That works. Get some laser and beams. Fast. And uh, the beacons boat. tell me that the factories are still operational. Once you find one, build a starship and use it to destroy the giant cube. I think uh, we should use the elytra. I think that'll be more useful. Look at my flannel shirt. Oh, I look so spacey. Yeah, get one of those pickaxes. This will be important. Okay, so it looks like what we have to do is build a spaceship, a starship. There are three factories, the Alpha Factory, the Beta Factory, and one more, uh, the Gamma, I think. Uh, so here you can see the light gravity practice at the beginning is very helpful uh, in helping us travel amidst these asteroids so that we can gather enough minerals. Here I am going to use my elytra to fly further. Oh my. The robots sound oddly like, um, like zombies. Oh, there's a, there's a, a space shoot zombie. That's a zombie I'm used to seeing. What is that? It's a robot spider. Oh man. Why would you even design a robot spider? Who made this game? Oh, 
I did. Well, with a lot of help with a lot of people. We had the Russian team design the spaceships that you fly, uh, that are designed in the factory. And uh, we had the volunteer Daniel help design these. Well, he designed the asteroids and he designed the cube. Yeah, so I designed the blocky looking ships. Oh, that UFO, hope it doesn't see us. Okay, we'll use that portable teleporter, which is a retextured um, Ender Pearl. Let's sneak in here. Oh my, my favorite thing that the uh, the Russians did. It's an Imperial Ghast. Look at that Imperial Ghast. Oh man, he is lethal. Better get out of here. Man, some robot skeletons. What are we going to do? Yeah, so the texture pack that we are using is from an earlier map called Escape from Planet X. Came out about oh, about a year ago. So I took the texture pack from there and I tweaked it a bit to uh, give it more of a, um, a War from Stars type feel. Especially this room. This really reminds me of that. What's that movie called? I forget. This is the path to the core of the. Oh, oh no! It's oh man. Even the the uh, creepers have spacesuits. That's how cool this game is. Uh, but I don't. I have a flannel shirt. Oh, what's this say here? These are the secret plans for the giant cube. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to steal those plans. Oh. Okay, so the game is all about getting to the factories, and these, uh, as you can tell, these beacons help you get to them. Yep, there it is off in the distance. Oh, but there's that UFO. Yeah, so here's the factory, and when you gather enough minerals, you can build a starship. I'll sneaking up on that. Nice. Taking it out. Love the sound effects, too. Okay, so looks like diamond ore, five, emerald, eight, and gold, eight. So let's put all those in there and see what happens. Let's see if this factory thing even works. Assembly complete. There it is. There is our starship. Oh my gosh. Once you get in the starship, the game really changes. It just has this feel of uh, that you have a lot more control <laughs> and that you're a lot less vulnerable to um, all the things out there. Watch this. If you push F1, if you're playing on computer, you can shoot. It looks like you're shooting lasers from the spaceship, but it's really from my trusty bow, which shoots lasers for some reason, because why not? Yeah, so those UFOs are no match for my bow. They can't even hit me. Okay, they can almost hit me. <laughs> but we get to shoot lasers at them in a ship. And the ship moves really nice and smooth. Very maneuverable. Easily take out those UFOs and anything else that comes our way. So it's time to take on the giant cube. Let's see uh, what's inside there. Oh my goodness. But you know what? I don't think I'll show you everything in this game. You'll have to play it to find out. Ah! Okay, we're not that invulnerable. Oh well. So we're just going to cut here. Here we are leaving on a different ship, oh my gosh. With our mission complete, having destroyed the core, you can see parts of the cube are blown up because of our wonderful flight. Oh man, me with half a heart of health, that's great. Uh, but anyways, this is Depot Bridge playing Space Battles. A real fun game to design and even more fun to play. Cheers!